Hi, my name is Gianni Johnson, and I'm going to be reciting the poem Ozymandias by Percy Bysshe Shelley. I met a traveler from an antique land who said, Two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them on the sand, half sunk, a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculptor well those passions read, which yet survive stamped on these lifeless things, the hand that mocked them and the heart that fed. And on a pedestal these words appear, my name is Ozymandias, king of kings. Look on my work, ye mighty and despair. Nothing beside remains round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare. The lone and level sand stretch far away. Yeah, there's some um, interesting things about the poem Ozymandias. But the first thing to note is that it is a sonnet. It's 14 lines written in iambic pentameter. Um, according to our lecture from one of the previous weeks, Percy Bysshe Shelley used an interesting rhyme scheme. Uh, he made it a little different than the Shakespearean sonnets or some of the other sonnets. He used sets of three a couple of times. And you can also see the, the theme of three repeated in his speakers. There's actually three speakers throughout the poem. The beginning uh, speaker who starts the poem off. Then you have the speaker of the traveler. And then you, we also get the speaker of the king, Ozymandias. Um, another interesting to note about the poem is its setting. It's set in the past. It's a tale about um, something that happened, something that um, the poet heard on his travels. And then it's also something that the traveler saw in the past. And it's about a faraway place. So the setting is very far away in this um, antique or mysterious place. One of the most interesting things about the poem, though, is its themes and its imagery. It's imagery and its themes. Um, the poem, it describes this great wreck of stone, of... of top of feet without any legs connecting to it, of shattered visages. And on them is this powerful inscription of the King Ozymandias. And, you know, as he's telling everyone, look on my work, look at my great kingdom. And uh, as far as we can see, or as far as we know, it's all wrecked. It's almost nothing. And the only thing around is sand. It's barren, lonely desert. And that's a powerful image that that creates. And it touches on the theme of nature taking back itself, you know, or, or time of, you know, of our accomplishments, our being washed away with time and it kind of shows humanities and civilizations insignificant place in the vast universe so this poem by percy bishelli is a powerful little sonnet it's it has really striking imagery powerful language and it has a very interesting rhyme scheme and i enjoyed reading and memorizing this poem thank you